So hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CPP Nuts video series on, yeah, this is CPP Nuts video series, okay, CPP Nuts channel. And yeah, so as you would have seen that this video is about move constructor. So many people ask this and I didn't know that I did not had this video on my channel. So there you go. What is move constructor? Move, as it says, you have to move the data from source object to the destination object. But you have to keep in mind that when you are moving from source to destination, you are not keeping the source ill-formed, meaning you have to reset somehow, like if it is integer, then you have to make it zero. If it is integer pointer, then you have to initialize null to that. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. So this is your simple class. This is move constructor. So this is the syntax of the move constructor. It takes double ref. So this is called R value reference, or it will take the temporary created temporarily created object and what I was telling was see uh, this is the syntax I mean there are many syntax but this is one of the syntax you have object one you are trying to move object one to object two now after this line is executed you should not use object one though you can use it you you see that okay if I'll write object one and do something it will still compile it will not give me an error but it is undefined behavior. So how it is going to work? This statement end up calling the move constructor because we are telling I want to move this object one. There is more to this move function. I'll come to that a little later. That would be the bonus. So this will end up calling move constructor this one. And we see this is an integer pointer. When we created this object with 42, this 42 was initialized into this data using this new integer initialization. So we have this data initialized with 42. Now I want to move that. So how would I do that? This is the move constructor. I'll take that data and assign to the destination data. And then I'll make this data to point to null pointer. Let's say if I had something like maybe integer some size or something. In that case, I will make this other dot size equal to zero and before this obviously i'll have to copy this size to this actual size here what i mean is like this size is equal to other size and then i'll write these two statements to put them in a safer state like if accidentally the objects are used they are not going to do any harm or crash or anything. So in basic terms, move constructor is something which will move the data like you have some heap memory or some resources occupied by source object and you want to move that to the destination object, then you have to move it. You cannot copy the ownership of something, right? You have to move the ownership. You cannot say that, okay, now I am also the owner, owner of the thread or this resource and you are also the owner of this thread or some some resources you have to move it so in that case you will move the data created under heap or if you are holding some resources you will move that resource handling to the destination object so let's see if this is your program we are creating this object now we are moving the object we are creating the object and then we are trying to copy this into this so let's see how this goes i'll compile this and if i'll execute this See the answer is constructor is called for 42 obviously and then move constructor is called for this guy for this statement and then again constructor is called for data 50 this guy and no copy constructor or no move constructor is called here. This is just because we have copy elision enabled in this. So basically that is default enabled meaning whatever this simple I mean this 50 object is constructed that memory was not temporary so this is temporary object it was not created on temporary object the memory was created on object 3 itself so that's why after creating this object there is no need to copy this because compiler understood that okay i am getting created temporary here and then i have to copy myself into this object so why not just create this on this object memory itself so that's why it's just constructed and did not copy or did not move now if you want to disable that just notice that i'm not going to change anything here just going to disable that 
no allied constructors so i'm going to tell that okay don't use any optimization if i hit enter it is compiled successfully now notice this i have compiled and executed c now this time 42 was constructed obviously and then move was called which is this guy and then constructor called for 50 so this was constructed here now and then it was moved because this was a temporary object and this is nothing but the r value reference so it will take this constructor not the copy constructor because this is the best suited for this temporary object and we have four time destructor called notice this even though we had very less actual object construction what i mean is this was a plain object construction this was move this was not actually construction this was movement okay but still it is called as constructor this was constructed and then when it was moved from here to here actually it was not construction it was movement but still you end up having four destructors because obviously they all are constructors they all have to go and get destructed so now you might be thinking that okay i have moved object one into object two now what will happen when object one is getting destructed then in that case you have to keep these guards like if data is present then only go for data deletion otherwise your program may crash and now the bonus part what i was talking in the beginning this move function is actually not responsible to do anything other than converting this object one into r value reference so that your move constructor is called here this move is not calling this constructor so many people have this doubt that okay if they will write std move then only it will call the move constructor but it is not so always remember this object one is type casted into r value reference so that the whole statement will call the move constructor so this is not a function it is used to typecast the object into r value reference so the crux is you move the data from one object to another object and you don't leave the source data into some vulnerable state you reset if there is some pointer you reset to null pointer and if it is integer you make it minus one or zero like which will tell you that okay this is resetted value you should not go ahead with that and yeah after moving the object from one object to another object reusing the older object is undefined behavior and yeah i did not include it like where you should use the move constructor because that is a little bit bigger part and that would increase the video length so to watch or to know where you should use move constructor you have to wait for the next video thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye